So the Vista AR project um, is funded by Interreg, it's the France Channel England programme. And really what we're trying to do is to use digital technologies to enhance the visitor experiences at cultural heritage sites both here and in northern France and to attract new visitors to these sites. Exeter Cathedral is central to the city. It has a host of cultural heritage assets which the public don't get a chance to engage with. So I think there's a fantastic opportunity for us to work with them to explore how we can generate these new experiences for visitors to our city. And of course that has a, an economic impact on the city and on the region. When the Visrael project first came up, we were really interested in finding out how the project consortium was going to test and develop some of these ideas. They obviously needed to test them on some cultural heritage sites in the region, and we were really, really happy to get involved with that. We're, we're quite keen to understand our own visitors a lot better as well, and it's a great opportunity to test some new technologies on site. So we've used things like geospatial tracking and eye tracking to see what sort of artefacts that people are interacting with. And so we use all of that information from studying the visitors to then inform how we can design the new experiences. So we're looking at things like immersive rooms and using headsets and tablets and really thinking about how we can get uh, these new interpretations, think about the new potential revenue streams that we can get and have an exceptional visitor experiences for everybody that comes here. One of the really wonderful things about coming into this building for the first time is that you look straight down the nave and see this incredible vista. There's a um, wonderful sight of the cathedral organ and there's stunning stained glass everywhere. But for lots of visitors it's really difficult for them to actually understand our story. There's not space for traditional interpretation. There's a really great opportunity though with Vista to develop some virtual reality and augmented reality experiences and those are going to bring some of our stories and some of our artefacts to life in ways that we hope people will find really, really engaging and new. One of the ideas is to think about the cathedral on the outside as well as the inside. So if you look at the Western Front, for example, there's a whole host of different statues of uh, kings, for example. We're working with our technical team to animate. They can use their own smartphones or tablets and they can have an augmented reality experience um, interacting with these, uh, these different strat statues which will come to life. The Vista project is obviously bringing us some really clear tangible benefits. We're going to have some fantastic technology in the cathedral. We're looking forward to welcoming more visitors and we're also looking forward to understanding more about why they come to see us. But also it's great to have access to the business school and the team who are working there as well. So it's really important for us to be able to draw on some of that expertise in the group. So in addition to working with the cathedral here in Exeter and the castle in Fougere, we're working with the National Trust down at the Tin Coast um, in the area around the uh, Portalac Mine, um, where we want to really bring that area of natural beauty to life to show the general public what it was like at the height of its industry. That whole process um, is going to allow us to develop a set of tools um, that cultural heritage sites uh, across the regions and across both countries can actually engage with to get innovation for themselves. We've enjoyed collaborating with the academics at the University Business School. It's wonderful to have a team with so much expertise and experience so close to the site so we can just pop up and see them or they'll come down here for a meeting and we're able to develop our work on the project together. We have a fantastic relationship with the cathedral. We have a number of different ideas and business models and it's great to see the enthusiasm for actually getting those things realised and to really make a difference to the cathedral and to the city.